Shetland is world famous for its hand knitting. Reaching back hundreds of years, its cultural heritage has always been strongly connected to hand knitting, or mackin, as Shetlanders call it. These hand knitting skills have traditionally been handed down from parents to children for generations. Hand knitting was taught in Shetland's primary schools, but this ended in 2010. Some parents, grandparents and others could pass on their skills, but there was a risk that insufficient numbers of children would learn to knit, and the knowledge and techniques of Shetland knitting would be lost. In 2015, an appeal was launched to fund a pilot scheme, operating initially in five Shetland communities with skilled volunteer tutors to provide free lessons in Shetland knitting to Shetland youngsters. Thanks to the incredible generosity of donors from all over the world, the pilot scheme was able to establish a new way of passing on and supplementing these skills. Now, four years on, how has the scheme fared? The pilot scheme has done really well and has allowed us to expand into other areas across Shetland. When we started in 2015, we had about 20 volunteer tutors and 75 markers. Now, four years later, we've more than doubled that. Groups meet in community locations which are kindly given use of by local schools, meeting at lunchtime or after school. Classes will have 12 places in each group and that is offered to the upper primary age, so that's usually between 8 and 12. And there is a good mix of boys and lasses in the classes, which is exciting and really encouraging. The pupils are very hands-on for the start. The most of them starting to learn the basics and the fundamentals in knitting before quickly moving on to colour work and fair isle. They also learn to read patterns and to write the patterns out for themselves. So we, they started me off with fingerless gloves kind of just to teach me how to do it and now I'm knitting like a headband. It's going to be double-sided so if you like flip it over it's going to have a different pattern on the other side. The initial study showed us that it takes between 10 and 20 hours of dedicated time for each pupil to grasp the rudiments of Shetland hand knitting. Well, we get to speak with our friends and we just get to try doing marking. <laughs> like, you can mark tons of things and then you'll never get bored of it. Yeah. Some of our peri makers will already have had the basic fundamentals uh, of knitting and so they move on quite quickly to more sophisticated techniques, including Shetland lace. Design is encouraged too, and because the kids learn at their own speed and in their own way, they can express themselves through their knitting and make something that they can be really proud of. We start off with something easy, and then we can create our own patterns and create what we want to do. You can just let your mind go free and like choose what you want to yeah. create. Like when I show my family, they're like, you really made that? <laughs> Several well-known names have shown their support for the project to stress the importance of retaining these hand-knitting skills. All the yarn for the project has been kindly supplied by wool spinners, Jimmysons of Shetland. Knitting has been a huge part of Shetland's heritage. My own family have been working for five generations in the woolen industry and it's really important for us to see the traditions being preserved but also to see where they can grow. We're really excited to see these young people and how they're going to develop knitwear, fair isle designs and everything, and where they're going to go to in the future. Very excited. The work of Piri Makers is ongoing and not for profit. Pilot scheme funding has enabled us to achieve amazing things. Now, we need ongoing funding to take Piri Makers to the next level. Future donations will help pay for materials to enable tutors to pass on their skills and preserve the craft of Shetland knitting for another generation. We're hugely appreciative of everybody it's, it's contributing towards the project because it's allowing us to carry on with our passion and pass it on to our Like if you're not in it, you kind of want to keep it going and then like you might want to teach your own children how to knit in that so they keep it going.